Hello YouTube, this is wf 7 i Homebrew. I just wanted to revisit this little modification I made to the DX100 because I think it could be useful for other people that are using kind of older radios that might easily get overloaded with too strong of a signal or just some of the cheaper radios. Let's be honest, you put in an outdoor antenna, they get overloaded, you get a lot of garbage, a lot of broadcast breakthroughs and just, uh, you know, any number of distortions and you can't really un understand what you're receiving. It's a really simple modification. I just wanted to show you kind of a little bit more detail. I kind of alluded to it before. But all I've done is, this is my incoming signal from the coax here. This is a little 10K, what we call pot or variable resistor. Uh, this is a really easy modification, even if you're not, you know, really great with electronics. Uh, if you know how to solder, kind of make some little solder connections. Um, this is a part you can buy you know, online for a few dollars. Um, the key with this one is it's called an audio taper. So it's a 5K variable resistor. So as you turn this, the resistance is changing and um, you can go up to five kilo ohms and you go down to zero ohms in the other direction. And so what it does is when you go up to the five kilo ohms, you know, you have 5,000 ohms resistance between your signal coming in from the coax and the signal going to the radio back here. So I just have you know the center center conductor, this little red wire is going to one side of this resistor. The other side of the resistor is going into this cable, and the cable goes back around to the back of the radio, and there's some screw terminals back there where it connects in, basically, and that's all there is to it. The shield of the coax, this little black wire, this goes directly into this cable and to another terminal on the back of the radio. So um, what I do is I wanted to show you kind of why this is helpful. So right now you can kind of hear this signal, it's pretty distorted. Now you can hear it a little better. As you can see, when the signal gets stronger, it gets distorted. Yeah, you, uh, you may be a Guinness drinker. Anyway, no, so he's pretty distorted. Now what I can do, it's kind of hard to show on camera, but I can rotate this for maximum resistance. Let's see here. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. So, can... so that's a minimum resistance. Let's just do that first. And you can hear how distorted... You can hear how distorted this is when I turn up the volume. So that's with basically just full on outdoor antenna coming into the DX100. DX100 and the BFO that's in there really are not able to, to accommodate that level of signal. It's really distorted. And actually, when you do minimum resistance, you can start hearing broadcast stations coming in. Just a lot of garbage. Um, you, can, you can just sort of hear how the state of that sounds. It's pretty bad. So, what I do is turn this down until a lot of that distortion dies back. And now, if I turn up the volume, I can adjust the BFO and pull these guys in a little better. So it sounds, sounds pretty good now. Now if I go back, turn the gain up. Now I just turn the gain back down. So... So I just thought I'd illustrate that. Um, adding something like this, you could kind of call it an RF gain control or an attenuator is probably more accurate what it really is because you're not really changing the gain, you're really just attenuating the signal. 
but that can really help um, some of these older radios or some of these less advanced kind of more simple radios um, to really be able to use them on sideband more effectively or even just broadcast band. Um, I noticed a lot of the uh, images that I was getting on this radio kind of faded down quite a bit um, when I started putting some attenuation in there. So it, there's a, a lot of things that seems to help and I really wish the radio had come stock with a, an adjustment like that. And I just got cut off there, but I was saying I, I really wish that the radio would have come stock with an adjustment like this, but it just it, it just didn't. So, um, but it's easy enough to add. Um, what I may do eventually is kind of put this you know this little um, variable resistor into a box and just have a connector on the outside. That way I can move it from one radio to another. Anyway, that's about all. I just thought I'd share that real quick. I'm going to start moving on to some other projects here. Um, I developed an oscillator circuit that I need to revisit and I need to fix it because I found out that it's a very dirty signal um, and that's not going to be suitable as a VFO for a direct conversion receiver. So I'm going to need to uh, redesign that. So I'll be probably shooting some videos on that in the in coming days and weeks. So I hope you all are doing good. Thanks for watching.